Dear students, welcome back to my YouTube channel, MCB ChemTube. This is an online chemistry tutorial and you get my previous videos either from my homepage or from my YouTube channel. Okay then, uh, we were discussing about some topic in organic chemistry that is halogen compound. This is my fourth lecture on this topic and in this topic, I would like to discuss with you what are the factors affecting the reaction rate of SN1 and SN2 reaction. And we already discussed the mechanism of SN1 and SN2 reaction. So I would like to ask one question. Why chloromethane is reacted by SN2 mechanism and tertiary butyl halide uh, or butyl halide by SN1 mechanism? So there are a number of factors or variables that affect the normally the reaction rate. Okay, so what are that? factors or variables one is structure of substrate second one is concentration or reactivity of nucleophile and third one effect of solvent and fourth one nature of leaving group so first we will discuss structure of substrate normally reaction rate of sn1 depends on the stability of their intermediate that is carbocation but in sn2 what are the factors that govern the reaction rate that is steric factor because backside attack take place in sn2 so now let us discuss sn1 case so reactive uh, rate depends on the stability of carbocation so this is the stability order of carbocation tertiary is more stable and methyl carbocation is least stable so why this is uh, stability order can be explained okay based on two electronic effect one is inductive effect and second one is hyperconjugate effect okay this is carbocation and this one can be this charge positive charge can be stabilized by plus i group electronically inducting tonating group like alkyl so there are three alkyl group which can tonate electron density to this carbon then it, it becomes stabilized one when compared to secondary similarly in hyperconjugation what is hyperconjugation it is actually the interaction of ch sigma electron with the mtp orbital this electron can donate electron density to this mtp orbital similarly there are three hydrogens here in one alkyl and in the case of tertiary total nine beta hydrogens will be there so more electron density will be uh, flowed towards the carbocation then this charge will be get decreased so this become more stable so sn1 reactivity order will be tertiary is more reactive than secondary which is more reactive than primary which is more reactive than alkyl halide so normally highly substituted carbocations are highly stable and in the case of uh, SN1, in some cases, resonance also plays some role. And resonance stabilization promotes SN1 reaction. For example, primary allyl halide or benzylic halide react, even though it is a primary, because this alkyl, allyl halide, this bromine can be substituted by nucleophile through an intermediate. And this intermediate carbocation is resonance stabilized, it is as shown here. Similarly, benzyl alkyl halide is also can be reacted through SN1 mechanism because this intermediate is resonance stabilized. And but in the case of vinyl and aryl halide, does not undergo either by SN1 or SN2 mechanism. Why by not by SN1? Because in SN1 carbocation, this vinylic carbocation is less stable. Positive charge on its double bond carbon atom is not possible. Also, in this phenyl, positive charge here is not possible. How about the SN2 then? SN2 also not possible because backside attack of nucleophile is not possible. Why? Because of this electron density. This electron cloud can be can block the approach of nucleophile. Here also, this pi electron cloud can block the approach. Then, what is the order of uh, reactivity in SN1 reaction? In summary, you can say the order of reactivity depends on the order of stability of carbocation 
So this will be tertiary allylic or benzylic group is more stable than this tertiary alkyl or secondary allylic or secondary benzylic than this one will be more stable than secondary alkyl primary allylic and finally methyl is less stable or less reactive okay next one sn2 reaction a substrate how does this substrate affect the reaction rate and uh, the reaction rate depends on the bulkiness of the bulky group hinder the free approach of uh, nucleophile here you can see here in ter tertiary there are three methyl groups which can hinder the approach of nucleophile to this carbon atom whereas in methyl okay only hydrogen atom very small atom it can freely approach so the reaction rate you can see here in the case of methyl 30 times faster than tertiary so this is the reactivity order exactly opposite to sn1 uh, sorry sn1 reaction okay right and you can see it here reaction rate in sn1 is in this order because of the carbocation stability it is governed by electronic factor whereas sn2 it is in opposite order it is governed by steric factor so methyl and primary alkyl halide react only by sn2 here you can see not by sn1 okay tertiary only by react by sn1 not by sn2 and secondary it can react in both cases right okay second one concentration of nucleophile nucleophile does not participate in rate determined step of sn1 because it is unimolecular so it is unaffected by nucleophile's concentration and how about sn2 it has so role because it is bimolecular so when you increase the concentration of sn2 it increases the reaction rate a good nucleophile react rapidly and poor nucleophile react slowly here you can see that methoxide is very good nucleophile to rapidly react it from diethyl ether whereas this methanol with the methanol it react very slowly by sn2 so usually how can you determine which is which one is good nucleophile which one is poor nucleophile normally this can be done negatively charged nucleophile is always more reactive than its conjugate acid because hydroxide is better than water and alkoxide is better than alcohol negatively charged this is the nucleophilicity order and nucleophilicity is roughly parallel to the basicity what is the difference between basicity and nucleophilicity and basicity means affinity of base towards the H plus but nucleophilicity is different different uh, in the sense that it is the affinity of nucleophiles towards the carbon not hydrogen okay so nucleophilicity usually decreases when you go from left to right in the periodic table what do you know what is the reason because of electronegativity so suppose a uh, natum is more electronegative it can help this non porting electron more tightly then nucleophilicity gets decreased of course that is why NH2 minus is more nucleophilic than OH minus and F minus and ammonia is more nucleophilic than water. It is less tightly held here in nitrogen and nucleophilicity order increases down the group because it increases polarizability increases one and it decreases electronegativity. Okay, when you go down that is why I minus is more nucleophilic than F minus. Similarly, selenium is uh, CH minus is more nucleophilic than OH minus. Okay. Second effect solvent effect. There are two kinds of solvent: polar trotic solvent, polar ectrotic solvent. And in the case of SN2 reaction, nucleophile get solvated in protic solvent. It can form hydrogen bond like this. So what happens next? it can hinder nucleophile cannot react it cannot it can hinder its reactivity so hydrogen bonding in the case of uh, of course in the even in, in smaller molecule it, hydrogen bonding will be very strong and stronger than larger nucleophile so uh, when you consider this this case which is more nucleophilic than the hydrogen bonding will be less in i minus okay okay La, one reason is 
larger nucleophile is more reactive one reason is solvation second reason is polarizability what is polarizability electron cloud are more distorted more polarized means it can distort and it, it is less uh, you know tight and therefore more electron density donated than smaller okay i hope you understood and solvent effect in the case of polar aprotic solvent in sn2 reaction and in sn2 reaction it cannot form hydrogen bond therefore it does not hinder a nucleophile through hydrogen bond so uh, dmf and dmso is a better solvent for sn2 it cannot form in uh, no hydrogen bond with the nucleophile at the same time it can solvate the cation that means sodium hydroxide if you are taking it does not solvate oh minus but at the same time it solvate sodium na plus and it get exposed to the anion oh minus will be free so rate of reaction generally increase when they are carried out in polar aprotic solvent in the case of sn2 reaction and in sn1 reaction and polar protic solvent it increases reaction rate do you know the reason because in sn1 a carbocation and anion will be formed in, uh, in as an intermediate and this intermediate will be stabilized in protic solvent then it increases the reactivity rate and when energy diagram you can see that when it can increase so ability to so tie a solvent with high dielectric bonds constant that means it can solve it more it will be reaction will be faster in water protic solvent dielectric constant is high then it will be more reactive then when you dielectric constant is less less reactivity okay then living group in the, in the case of living group these are the characteristics of living group it should be having electron withdrawing because it should be able to polarize the carbon atom and the good living group should be stable after it's left otherwise it will again react so normally strong basis is not good weak basis and it should be polarizable because it should be able to uh, stabilize to transition state so polarizable living group stabilize transition state in in both sn1 and sn2 there are transition state in both cases so living group polarizable living group can stabilize the transition state it when it stabilize it can react so i did is good living group than fluoride anion so uh, this is the reactivity order i minus is better living group than br minus than cl this is the because this is more stable i minus is more stable when you compare to f minus minus can react quickly so these are the relatively bad living group and then reactivity of living group will be in this direction okay and in summary we can say what are the factors favoring sn1 and sn2 reaction and when you compare substrate nucleophile solvent and living group in the case of sn1 best substrate is tertiary and uh, it formed relatively stable carbocation and for sn2 methane is more reactive than primary than secondary it usually tertiary does not react when you consider nucleophile in you know, a sn1 reaction nucleophile will not be considered and you are, normally we use weak lewis bases or neutral molecule okay and in sn2 we need strong lewis base rate increased by high concentration of nucleophile solvent sn1 we need a polar protic solvent because this protic solvent can stabilize the carbocation by hydrogen bonding and in sn2 we use polar aprotic solvent we cannot use polar protic here because protic can you know hinder the approach of nucleophile and living group order is like this i minus or i iodine is better living group than bromine than chlorine so for both sn1 and sn1 so weaker base that is always after departure it, it can be a better living group okay that's all thank you for watching